Yo, what up? It's Roger from the Mascarilla Podcast. Remember, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Trying to hit 20K by 2020. Follow Mascarilla on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you. At Mascarilla. On the podcast today, we got Snot. Yo, what's good? How's it going, man? I've been chilling, having fun. So you're in LA right now? Yeah. It's like 92 degrees. Yo. I've been running the AC. Uh-huh. all day long actually that reminds me the ac is still on if you can maybe just turn that off the remote's right there it will take a second to power down uh-huh. i've been running it all day long because you refuse to take off your hoodie uh-huh. <laughs> somehow uh-huh. your hoodie has turned into the most talked about thing mm-hmm. in the underground rap world you think so yeah oh what's going on with the hoodie i just i don't know i like it like when i was in school i just walk around because i used to like i don't know wear shit and then one day i was like fuck it and then i just want a hoodie and then i'm like yo i'm just gonna make this shit my shit and then i'll just twist it around you know what i'm saying my head that's about it so you're in school walking down the hallway not like this but like not like like not like this you feel me but like outside of school when it came like with this music shit i was just like do that and people on instagram or twitter like they'll go crazy like yo take it off take it off and i I wouldn't you feel me but yeah i have pictures without my hoodie but yeah because some rappers have face tats Uh some rappers have rainbow colored hair you got the scrunched up hoodie yep you've somehow managed to turn a everyday clothing item (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> into a marketable asset of your career. Yeah. And I commend you for that. Appreciate it. You didn't have to get the face tattoo. Nah. Oh, uh, soon. I Really? Yeah. I might get one. Ooh, um, breaking news. Type shit. What are we thinking here? Is it going to be like a little tiny hoodie on your cheek or? Uh, it's going to be like a, I don't know. It's too generic. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's hella generic. It's going to be cursive. Mm-hmm. It's going to be like right here on my eyebrow. And it's going to be, it's going to say, uh, get busy or die. And it's like a brand that I, I made type shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like a clothing brand? Uh, It's a clothing brand and in a meaning, like at the same time. Like, I call it Yordi, but like it's called get busy or die. So like, cause the last six letters is Yordi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, so, what is the meaning behind that? Get busy, like get busy or die. Yeah, it's pretty like self-explanatory. <laughs> like, like, you get busy or you die. You know I me. Mean? Like either one of those. Two. And, and you've been getting busy. Type shit. Yeah. So how old are you? Ooh, I it, mean, dude, there's three hundred. You know I mean? <laughs> throwback. There's throwback. so many secrets about you. It's insane. I, I'm not really that mysterious. Like a lot of people know me. You're so mysterious. Very? I- I'm going to take a guess and I'm going to say that you're uh, 20 years old. Hey. Could be. It could be. Maybe. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but like, <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Like, people would know. I'm be- like 30. Okay, right. That's what I figured too. Because it- if it wasn't 20, I was like, oh no, he's definitely 30. He's like <laughs> married with a couple kids. <laughs> yeah. He plays golf on the weekends. Yeah. <laughs> But you're not secretive with where you're from. That's out in the open. Florida. You're from Lake Worth, Florida. Yeah. It's hella. It's a a crazy place. I'm from New York, but like, Mm. like, I lived in Florida, like, like all my life type shit. Oh, like you're living in New York now. I mean, I I don't live in New York, but I'm from New York, but I stay in Florida. Like since I was a kid, not since I was a kid, but like, I don't know, like seven where are you from in new york i'm from manhattan Hmm. the city crazy i'm from long beach new york long beach that's sort of close it's like a 40 minute train ride yeah so what were you up to in manhattan seven years old what were your Uh, parents doing over there nothing really i mean i don't know i can't remember i don't remember anything when i was like a kid in florida and not in new york like i don't know i was they said I went to school there. I don't really remember that shit. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. If I stayed in New York a little longer, like, 
I think my music would be like uh, a lot more different, like for real. You were the one pulled up to this interview in some Tim's. Yo. <laughs> Should I just keep going? Keep going. There would be rats falling out of your pockets. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Yeah. You ever seen that meme? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I have seen that meme many times. That shit's funny. But yeah. Because, what, like, you probably went to, like, kindergarten in New York. There's no way that you could possibly remember that. I don't. I try. Like, I'm trying to remember, but I don't remember none of that. Mm. But, yeah. So then what spurred the move to Lake Worth? Uh, I don't know. My parents went there. They moved there, and then Lake Worth, and then, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird city, like, a lot of different shit. A lot of like, I don't know, a lot of like ratchet music and shit, like a lot of, you know, hood shit down there, but yeah. Just where, what part of Florida is Lake Worth? Like what part? Like yeah. West Palm Beach. Okay. So like, who are some West Palm Beach rappers from like the 2000s? West Palm Beach rappers from the 2000s. Or, you know, like. I don't know. I, I just, from like way back. Or just like people that anyone would know. Are there any famous rappers from that area? Uh, when I was a kid, <laughs> or like yeah, when, when you were a kid growing up. I don't know. I I never really paid attention to that. I feel like we're gonna get some comments from from some hip hop purists and be I like, know, oh, they finna, they finna. if you don't know about so and so, dude, you're a fucking poser. <laughs> Only person like they are like them rap critiques could get mad because I'm about to say some crazy shit. Let's hear it. The only person that's famous that I know from West Palm. <laughs> nah, I'm not say, gonna say it. You gotta say it. <laughs> you just had this whole lead up for it. This Wi Fi. Nah, like, nah, fuck it. Because <laughs> that's the only person I know from like. Actually, no, that's not the only person I know when I was a kid. Like, you're talking about since I was a kid. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. But Wi Fi's funeral is from West Palm Beach. Yeah, it is. Why would people get mad at that? He was like the first, not the first person, but like that I know. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like a hip hop purist would be like, oh, yeah, dude, like, there were so many people before him. There's a lot more people. I'm just, right. maybe I wasn't paying attention. I was like, thinking of like other it, people it was a bad question let's just you yeah. know i'm gonna be honest with you <laughs> so lake worth what were your parents doing when you were growing up uh working and they would work every every day type shit and then i would just i don't know they'll just be working and then i would be in the house like chilling all the time yeah what was it like growing up uh, it was pretty crazy, but like at the, I don't know, it was like crazy, but not too crazy. It was just sometimes there's like hard times, like way back. And then, you know, shit's becoming to get like, you know, good in a way. Mm. But yeah. Because I, I read somewhere that you played some basketball growing up. Yeah, I played ball. Like I'm real good. Like anybody could. Really? I could bet. I'll bet like. 3,000 right now. Like, three racks. Three racks. On a one-on-one. -on -one yes. Versus any other rapper or just literally anyone it in the world? Any, any... Yeah, rappers are not even in, like, the equation. You feel me? It's just... I'm talking about, like, some... some uh, We're talking like, college level, but not D1. pro. Yeah, like, college level. Are we saying D1 or are we going D3, D2? All of them. <laughs> All of them to the max. You know, it's interesting because a lot of people with the whole mystery, mm -hmm. they want to know how tall you are. Oh, shit. You kind of just gave it away. It's like, you're good at you basketball. So? You got to be. I mean, listen, oh, I'm not shit. talking like mm -hmm. Muggsy over here. He was like 5'5", five, five, but you got to be at least six feet tall. <laughs> I feel like Nardworm just putting the pieces together right now. <laughs> I'm like 5'4". Oh, uh, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. You're like a small, small fart. Yeah. So, was there ever any like, oh, fuck, dude. I'm good at basketball. I'm going to go to college. Nah, I'm going to be pro. I never. Uh, nah. That shit just went downhill in high school. <laughs> you 
feel me? Like high school breaks a lot of people's dreams. Like, cause mm -hmm. you're trying to get like a certain what GPA, like a 2.0 to like mm -hmm. to stay in a, a basketball team. Cause I was just playing like these travel teams, but but like school, like that shit, nah. Cause I had bad grades, none of that shit. You know, it's very like stereotypical for a rapper to have bad grades <laughs> in school, but I really had bad grades. So you literally couldn't play basketball in high school because just they never, were like, you nah, don't have like, a 2.0 GPA. That too, but I just, I was like saving myself from like even trying it out. Cause that's a because I had a I had a fucking the math teacher was a basketball coach mm -hmm. and I like was failing his shit so yeah none of that shit was gonna work and like that's a scary path to go down because I have friends who are like ten years removed from high school and they're still like I'm sorry. gonna play in Europe bro like I'm in the <laughs> gym every day like listen man you might want to get a job hey shit i guess hoop dreams though hoop dreams yeah but somewhere in the picture music somewhere music came into the picture music is fun that like, shit's hella fun so how old were you when you I, started I made music mm -hmm. um if i were to tell you like people would know how old i am now, right but... this is gonna be a hard interview <laughs> there's uh, just no details just no like in high school uh <laughs> junior year right okay okay junior year because i also read mm -hmm. i think it was an interview with jack uh from underground underdogs i think it was for pitches and plans mm -hmm. mm, maybe it was the first one on underground underdogs you said you always knew you were going to be in music yeah i just didn't know how like i was hella like i don't know when i was a kid i like see rappers like do music videos and shit and i never like i don't know like I'm like, yo, I want to do this shit. Like, this shit looks cool. You know what I mean? And then the shit was, I kind of like felt like betrayed. Cause like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I remember I, like, I first seen a music video, like some rappers like shooting it. And I thought like, that's how they would sound mm -hmm. like on the camera. But like, it wasn't how they sound. It was just, they just, I don't know. I can't really like explain it, but it was like they had a persona going on, type shit. Yeah. No, nah, I thought no, nah, like I thought they were using the camera's mic to make the song. Oh, on the yeah, like, I was. <laughs> How old were you in that thought? I was like fucking eight. Okay, um, that's definitely young enough to. Yeah, like I'm like yo, like what the hell, like. I never thought of a studio like fuck that mm. you know weird. i like i don't think until more recently i've been understood that they shoot movies and tv shows out of order and then put it together at the end yeah that's what i heard right i think that's easier yeah i think that's how they do it yeah but so you were like fucking around with a video camera and you're like oh this is gonna sound like i'm mm. in a studio and it was just you could barely hear yourself it wasn't even that it was my friend gave me a mic like he like he stole it from his cousin he gave it to me and then i was just using it it was like a usb mic hmm. no actually no, i got my usb mic that shit was hella trash like hella trash but i don't know like but he gave me like a more of a like a condenser like some shit like this okay so he gave me that i'm like yo like and then it was like a big difference from like a USB mic. Like it made my voice like hella clear. And it kind of gave me like, like insecure about my voice. Cause mm -hmm. like it made my voice so like clear. I'm like, wow, like this is how I sound. And I'm like, yo, it took me some time to like get used to it. And yeah. So like, how are you figuring all this out? Like you're just starting off, are you like, watching other rappers in the scene like how are um, you like learning how to record or what programs were you using or i learned like my friend he like taught me on how to like do it type hmm. shit but because he was doing it first like 2014 2015 because i started like late 2016 that's when like shit was like popping like right. for real so i started like late 2016 but i knew how to like 
it was like simple shit on how to record and shit. Cause I I was recording off of um, what's that shit called? Fruity Loops. No, no, really. that's producing Garage. Band. I use I, I use that, but like, it's another like it's 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 ass. It's um, fuck. It has like a headphone icon like logo. On the Mac? Nah, like even on Windows. Oh, it's um, no idea. Fuck. It's like when you click on it, it looks like a in you know a program from two thousand five. Oh, is it like fucking QuickTime or something where you nah. just? It doesn't matter. You were recording on the very rudimentary. Because <laughs> I couldn't hear my voice or anything. Like, you gotta like I had to record and then play it back to hear my voice mm, and shit. Crazy. Yeah. Like, and you're just in your room at your parents' house. Type shit. Yep. Yeah, all the time. Or me and my friend would go to like this one kid's house to like record, because his parents were like quiet. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. So what's the what was that early process like of writing your first raps and songs? Like, oh, like were you just, it, was, it was like a pen and a notebook nah, your, or, like, or your phone. My first, my very first song, it was like cringe. It was, it was about ecstasy, but like, I'm like, what am I even talking about? Because I was just saying a whole bunch of bullshit. And then fans still like, I have some fans that like, yo, uh, bring that song back. Like, and it's hella old. But nah, but like I, I don't really freestyle my shit. Like I'll write some songs. I freestyle, but like I'll write shit. I like writing, but it's hard because you gotta like sit down and think. You know what I'm saying? And I be thinking like too much mm-hmm. when it comes to writing a song, because I'm trying to make shit perfect, like hella perfect. But yeah. So what inspires you to even get into that zone where you're in the headspace to sit down and write? I don't know, like other people. Like other people, like, it just depends. Like I could be, shit, I could be watching a Mass Gorilla interview and it could be a rapper. Like, did you have Cyber? Yes. Yeah, like I'll, Dude, I'll watch that interview. I'm like, yo, he inspired me. And I'll just hop in the fucking studio and go crazy. Dude, every rapper that I talk to loves Cyber. Uh, that man. Bro, when he followed me, I went crazy. Like, he's very talented. Like, I like him. I feel like he's, like, every favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Bro. And I'm not a rapper, but he's, you know... He's underrated, too. Like He's definitely be, one of my favorite rappers. He's very, like, underrated. Like, it'll be, like, a big rapper talking about him. Like, and I don't know. But he's very... Like good, <laughs> he's a dude. He's such a legend. This is two podcasts in a row <laughs> where he's come up. So just pretty much anything can like send you into that. Anything headspace. I could be listening, to, like I could be listening to a song, you know. Yeah, I could be listening to fucking I don't know Zilla, Zilla Comedy or fucking it could be anything, and then or I could I don't know. It could be about anything. So in 2016, your uh-huh. junior in high school, you started rapping. Mm-hmm. What rappers were you listening to? Because obviously Florida was mm-hmm. having an insane moment at the time. 2016. Mm. It's crazy because I wasn't really like listening to like the Florida. Because there's two types of scenes in this Florida shit. There's like hood shit and then there's like the weird shit. Right, right. So like the weird shit is like, you're listening to like X and Ski Mask, Wi-Fi, and all the members only and mm-hmm. other shit. And then the hutch is like Kodak. You listen to Kodak, and then all the other rappers. But I was listening to like X. Like I don't know. Like it's weird because he wasn't big like popping in Florida at the time when I was listening to him. Hmm. But his music was. I liked it. It was crazy. But I was listening to, like, a lot of underground shit, like Wolf and Bones and Suicide. Yeah, Suicide Boys, um, fucking Sad Boys, Young Lean, all of them. All, like, Chris Travis, everything. Did, did like, you have, around that time period, did you have any, like, communications with those guys? Or it was still too early for you? 
too early. Like, they wouldn't even read my shit. Like, yeah. you feel me? Even X, like, X was like, it's weird because he would have like, like 9,000 followers on Instagram. And then he would, you go on his shit, he'll get like 8,000 likes on a picture. It's just weird. Like, cause his, mm. I don't know, like, he was very like, his like fan base was like hella cult. Like, it's still like a cult fan base. Even like, I hit up Wolf, they wouldn't answer Bones. Like, that's impossible. You know what I mean? But yeah, I hit them up. Have you spoken to any of those guys since? Uh, I talked to Wolf. Me and him was gonna, we we're gonna do a song, but. Right. Someone said that in the comments. So, what's the story with the Xavier Wolf song? Like, all right. It was kind of my fault because I announced oh, it no. without, you know, hearing the fucking. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> but like he never hopped on it, so it's just like fuck. But he told me he was gonna send me a verse. Like he's like, oh, I got you, and then never got it. But I'm not really tripping because he's probably like busy and shit. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna like drop it without him. You know what I'm saying? He's also been historically good at uh, featuring on younger artists' songs. Like he was one of. Peep's first sort of like big collab, bigger collabs, which is crazy to say yeah. now, but on Hellboy, yeah, which is a classic, it. a big classic, yeah. So when did your music start to gain traction? When did you kind of? Mm. It would be like wavy as fuck, like or it was a those are like old songs. Mm -hmm. like it'll be like Ice Cream and then Wavy, because. I don't know, I'll drop them shits like weird like weird times. Like the song Ice Cream, I dropped it like in the morning. <laughs> I went to school and then I came back because I didn't have any like internet or fucking service on my phone. So like I came back home and then they had like 700 plays and I was like going crazy. I'm like, yo, like I need to be on MTV right now or some shit. Like I was just going wild and then Wavy as fuck was like a different song. Like, there's a YouTuber. His name's Hunter. Like, I don't know if you ever heard of him, but oh yeah, yeah. There's like a couple. There's like an X in there or something. Yeah, yeah. So like, legend. Shout out Hunter. But oh yeah, he would post like a whole bunch of underground like mm. rappers like videos, right? Like, and songs, and I put my shit on there, and it was like somewhat going crazy, like for his channel. But yeah. So you're still recording in your room. You're in high school. It sounds like you might be a senior at this point. Mm -hmm. We don't know. We don't know. But <laughs> what were your parents thinking of all this? You oh, just music? like, yeah. Um, they don't really. It's weird. Like, I don't know. Like, if you can make, if your parents like see you like making money from like your dream, like they'll just probably like, because then they be like, yo, get a job or some shit. Mm -hmm. and then, and then, like, you pay a, a light bill, they'll probably, like, you know, leave you alone about getting a job. Because, I don't know, as long as, like, you pay the bill or some shit. Right. Yeah, but I never really, like, asked, you know, for the support or anything, you know what I mean? Because I just done it myself. Like, they're, like, supportive, but, like, it's not something I'm asking for. Because I would do it even if they said, oh, no, I don't do it. Like, I'll still do it. Right. Yeah. So, w was there like a song that maybe picked up in a big way where it kind of shifted mm -hmm. where you stood in your career? There's this one song, but I don't know if I should talk about it. I could. I oh, mean, you're allowed to. Here we go. I'll say Case 19, but Case it's not 19. really. It's not really like. What is the story behind Case 19? <laughs> that was the most requested question right there. I'm glad we're allowed to talk about it. All right. Um, give me a second. Okay. Me a second. We got to. Um, so. All right. So. It was like. It was like. May. 16th I don't even know like what month it was it was cause it was I don't know 
But uh, the dude that was on the song, just I, like, he was real. Like, we're still cool. Like, I'm cool. Like, there's no beef or anything. But we met online, and then I heard his music. I'm like, yo, this shit, nice. And then did that song, and then shit got, like, crazy. Like, because no one knew who the fuck just I was. Right. So I'm like, yo, like, shit went crazy. And then um, song got like hella big, and then a fucking I don't know. I guess a label signed him, and then I I guess I had to get off the song. You know what I'm saying? And get replaced with Six Nine. <laughs> what a what? Wait, so how like how many plays or views are we saying here? Um, it's not crazy. It was like three mil. Three million. Yeah. And then so the label. They literally deleted the song? Yeah, they just copyright strike my shit. And... Because the thing with Josiah, and he's I, he's supposed to come on the podcast soon, mm-hmm. is that I think his label was like, we're going to have a reset and get rid of all your old music and like kind of start fresh, right? That's like, that's like, Isn't that what happened? That's like every label. I know, shit. It's, dude, it's so whack. Yeah. I hate when labels do that. But... But so when did you find okay so the fucking song gets taken down mm-hmm. it sucks for you but whatever when did you find out about the 6 9 feature and it being re-uploaded um like I don't know I was did like he hit you up and say hey man by the way I didn't really care I just I just like made a meme and then that was it I didn't really give a fuck. But like, did you hear the six nine version along with everyone else, or you had like an inside? Uh, thing is, I knew nah. Like, I never heard it actually. Like the when it came out, that's when I first heard it. But you like maybe knew that it was coming out. In a way. Okay. Yeah. So you got some beef with six nine now. Shit, that's <laughs> that's good. I wanted to be in that circle. Um, like yeah. rappers beef one. Yeah. Cause I never thought like I would ever be in like some six nine. Like I don't know if I'm in it, but like some six nine bullshit. It's so weird how life works. Right? Cause I would see shit like with him, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, like if you have anything to do with six nine, like you gotta be like You're just clouded up. Yeah, so I was just I don't know. And plus for some context for those who aren't following along here. This all happened while Six Nine was, was and still is in jail. In jail, like he doesn't know anything. So. Right. Yeah. Is there okay? So outside of that, fans were asking another question. Was there another song that was taken down? Oh yeah, excuse me, like that. Had, what was it? Like a sample producer? Yeah, that shit got taken down. Like I don't know. <laughs> all my big songs and shit are getting taken down and all that someone's out to get you yeah but you do have some big songs that are still up yeah and those songs I hear went viral on TikTok yeah (laughs) that's what I heard too (laughs) what is that like shit I used to look at TikTok as like some cringe like shit but like for an artist's perspective like it helps that's huge they can literally turn a the song could be fucking garbage you feel me and some kid could just dance over it and then it becomes a fucking billboard hit you feel me like it's just weird crazy so yeah are you the first tiktok rapper nah you're not a soundcloud rapper because soundcloud's dead sound you think so <laughs> no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding <laughs> soundcloud's very much alive i think you're actually one of the most popular artists on soundcloud right now yeah but soundcloud like itself like that the fucking company they don't see that but you haven't met the soundcloud staff yet i was like way back what happened <laughs> They said some dude said he was busy. Oh my god! Yeah, and I was like, "Cap, we gotta make that happen." I would like, cause they have a SoundCloud wall or some shit, and it has like a whole bunch of artists, mm. and then like they write their names on that shit, and that's what I want to do. But yeah, I feel like you're at the point where that you know that's gonna happen any day now. There is a SoundCloud office in LA, bro. 
I've been there before. Is it big? Like, is it? Somehow I managed to make it to SoundCloud before you, which seems wrong. It's actually a really small office, to be honest with you. I'll be, but no, I'm not. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I would, I would say, like, a whole bunch of bullshit about SoundCloud on Twitter. <laughs> like, I'll say, like, like a whole bunch of stupid shit. Because SoundCloud is, like, weird. Because I clicked on, like, their app. Whoa. That was a firework, folks. <laughs> but yeah, like I click on, I clicked on their app, and like it would play a song that I never heard of. You feel me? I never heard it, never liked it. Hmm. I never heard it. I guess it was just a way to, you know, what I'm saying, get the artist views up. Interesting. This is a conspiracy right. theory. Yeah, like they're not slick because I they did it twice, <laughs> three times actually, and I called them out for it. And they didn't say shit. <laughs> so, yeah. So many needs to look into this. They do. But so the song's blowing up on TikTok. Is that like a weird um, phenomenon of you've been making music in your fucking room, in your parents' house, and then all of a sudden there's like 10,000 people making TikToks for your songs? Type shit. It's weird. TikTok is... That's like a good thing for an artist. But yeah. Because that's what really kind of helped take you to this new next level. Type shit, yeah. TikTok. It's it's sad to say, but yeah, TikTok. <laughs> and now your Instagram is going crazy. Yeah, Instagram is cool. I be posting like a whole bunch of bullshit, like yeah, funny shit. You have a really interesting in- Instagram strategy. What do you, like what do you see? You just nonstop post <laughs> and then you delete <laughs> nonstop. I, I actually think it's really fucking smart. <laughs> I was just having a conversation with an artist and uh-huh. it was getting real deep and they were talking about like the rhythm and flow of Instagram feeds and if you can somehow disrupt that then you mm. st- and that's what you're doing. <laughs> it's crazy. I'll do that like all the time for no reason. But yeah, Instagram it's it's easy. Like I don't know. Like, I have a lot of people that fuck with me on there. Like, not for music, just other shit. Yeah, because was Snot a meme page first? Nah, it never hit a meme page. It's just a whole bunch of meme pages, like, were fucking with me. Oh, so, like, that's what it was. their fans, like, went on my shit, and they just started fucking with me. How the hell did you get the Snot handle, by the way? Oh, yeah, that shit. That's <laughs> what, what'd you hack into to get that one? So, all right. So... I got the handle. All right, so I went to um. I went to China. Is this a real story? Yeah. You went to China. Went to China. I knew a kid. Not just playing. Yeah, I was like, this doesn't. But nah, some some kid gave it to me. Cause he was like, I don't know. He he had like a. I don't know, like a. His name was just simple it was just i don't know his name but like it was just a simple like name and i'm like yo i need like a i asked him like, oh, I need a username. yeah he was like a nerd so he just like yo i got this shit and he gave it to me but it's weird so was that before you were rapping yes and that's why your name is snot because that's yes. the next obvious question yeah that's, so <laughs> that's, that's the reason why. yeah because like my instagram handle you know, but I was gonna have like a different name. Mm, and what was that gonna be? <laughs> Little Equinox. <laughs> I know that's funny, right? I like that, dude. But that, I don't know. I might change it to that soon. Yeah, someone asked the question of. Uh, you mentioned you were thinking about changing your name more recently. Yeah, like Little Equinox, Little Hoodie, or dude. It could just be Equinox or Hoodie fucking lock <laughs> you better lock down those usernames before this podcast airs uh, I'll get it okay somehow. yeah somehow you might have to go to China type shit because it's not as impossible to search yeah the, cause the fucking the fucking money sign because it's not obviously is impossible to search but then the money sign like it's not version it just literally brings up the word not not how is that possible I guess the shit doesn't register I mean look like 
if there's no money around, then I won't be around, you know? Mm, interesting. Yeah, so that's why the money sign's there, so I can be around. Right. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So the song's blowing up. You got multiple songs blowing up. Mm-hmm. One of them being Megan. Megan. Who's that, Megan? Megan. That's... Megan is a chick from school. Nah. I don't know. I don't know who Megan is. But Megan is somebody. Because I wrote it. I didn't... Like, I freestyled the damn song. So, like, it was about some girl, but I don't want to say who. Her name wasn't... May or may not be Megan. Yeah. She may or may not live in China. We don't know. Nah, we don't know. So, song's blowing up. You're in LA right now. Mm -hmm. You're doing shows. Mm -hmm. Are you still living at home? Yeah, like, I'm still in the the bedroom, you feel me? Like, where everything began. But you have a taste for expensive uh, shoes (laughs) and other things. (laughs) When did that start? Uh, Since I was in high school, like, I would do like crazy shit like like finesse like just because like in florida like scamming was like crazy but i took it to like an, like another level <laughs> but i stopped doing it because like one day i don't know I, like i scammed the wrong person but it wasn't really like anything crazy i just felt bad basically hmm yeah, and then I'm like, yo, I'm gonna just do this shit the right way. And, but I always had like a taste for shoes and shit because couldn't afford them. So right. I'm like, I'll just see them. Like, yo, this shit's fire. I'll see some kid wearing them. Like, yo, I need me a pair. Yeah, what do we got on right now? I got like the ones. Oh, dude. The bread ones, yo. The amount of times I've loaded the StockX page and looked at bread ones and be like, ah, oh, should I do it? Them shits. I think it's at least 25 times, probably more, to be honest. Them shits vary. Like, they can go from 200 to 400 to yeah. 800. It's weird. I feel like, and it obviously depends on the size. My size, 10 and a half, if anyone from Jordan Company is watching this. That's rare. Uh, it like you know, kind of sits around like four hundred dollars. I don't think I have it in me. But what's the most expensive pair of shoes that you've copped? Because I saw oh, you man. in some Gucci's. Oh yeah, some it was like a, a Gucci, a Sega, shoe. But I only worn them like twice. Like actually, like worn them, and and I worn them like the first time I worn them was to Walmart. <laughs> I love it. But I only did that to fucking flex I just wanted to just walk up in that shit and come out basically and then the second time I just worn it because I never really like worn them but like they're like a fat ass shoe you feel me like they're big so and they like they're like attention grabbers like people yeah. like look at them and I don't really like the attention so I don't really wear them mm-hmm. yeah because those are what like how much are those? They're like, like two, two thousand. They're like fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. So, what do your like parents think about you? Uh, like buying shit, flexing all over them under their roof. Um, they just be like, save, yeah. save up your money, cause like, they just worried about taxes and shit. Mm. I don't know. Basically, but. <laughs> I'll be trying to hide shit, you feel me? Is they, it, like, is it a tax write-off? Mm. To, I don't know if we have any answers from your team on that, but you might want to look into it. I don't think it is, I don't but hey, know. man, I'm not an accountant. <laughs> I don't know. I've never done taxes, to be honest with you. <laughs> like, I've never done that shit. It feels like this year you're going to have to have an accountant because you're having a good year. Mm. Shit. I guess. At the time of recording this, you have millions of streams. Uh, Your Instagram is at, I don't know the exact number. It's like 220,000 or something. Yeah. Really good engagement as someone in the music industry would say. You get a lot of comments, a lot of likes. Yeah. Like, I like to be interactive with, like, you know, my supporters. Because, like, 
I don't know, some rappers or artists or someone that's big, they'll just post like a verified picture. Yeah. Not I said verified, like a fucking Right, like a professional, professional picture. Right. Yeah, and then fucking dip for like a month and then come back and do the same shit. And no. I'm like, bro, that's so whack. Like they're showing so much love, you know what I'm saying? All you could do is just like reply or reply to the DMs and shit, man. Say hi or leave a heart. Or, I don't know. I'll be showing love. Is Instagram easier than Twitter? Because yeah, like it's hella, like hella easy on Instagram. Way easier. You just post. But like on Twitter, you got to be like smart. You know what I'm saying, you got to like be hella smart. You got to say like relatable shit, like real relatable shit. Because on Instagram, you could just post a picture and say, I don't know, say. LOL, and then people will just say, they'll just fuck with it. Or you can post a picture of yourself in the bathroom and say, why don't you guys guess how tall I am? Oh, and then 15,000 comments later, people are guessing. Yeah, that's on on Instagram, but Twitter, it's hard. Like, I don't know, you got to, like, be consistent on Twitter. Say, like, funny shit right? and all that. Or just, like, steal memes and post them and hope no one notices. Yeah, a lot of people on Instagram don't be on Twitter. Right, right. Yeah, I feel like Instagram's definitely like the younger. Yeah, it's for the the younger. And like, Twitter's for thirty year olds. Type shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the plan for the rest of the year with music? Um, are you like working towards a full project? Because you've been dropping a lot of you know singles and. Um. Yeah. Soon. Like I'm gonna have a lot, a lot of shit. I'll be like making a whole bunch of music, like unreleased, unfinished shit. But yeah, soon I'm working on like a little project, like 10 songs. Mm. Thinking about a tour? Um, yeah, like headlining. I like headlining mm-hmm. tours instead of um doing like openings right yeah how would you describe your live performance for people who haven't seen you before it's crazy because i only performed twice really yeah so my first was like rolling loud and then second was my own show and i don't know i I get hella i'll be warning people like yo like i'll be on the mic and i'll forget the lyrics to my song really even like the most popping I forget the lyrics and shit <laughs> it's hella genuine I be like trying to like I don't know you know you should maybe put out a public call to your fans to start mm-hmm. writing lyrics on signs and holding them up for you they would do it that'd be crazy they would do it yeah it's weird because I was performing I see like a whole bunch of like kids I'm like damn like like, so they're like 10 so I seen like an 8 year old or some shit like, like, where was this is at Rolling Loud nah it's like oh. Santa Ana oh at the observatory yeah right like, right yo like it's a lot of kids and like kids parents pulled up and shit mm-hmm. and like yo uh, my daughter is like a big fan of you and I'm like wow that's crazy yeah damn <laughs> <laughs> so you got any plans to maybe move out from Lake Worth? Mm, probably LA or New York. It's a lot of artists move to LA. And then they get lost in the sauce. Mm. And shit. That's, yeah, because it feels like you're in your own world. Yeah, like my own shit my own universe you know what I'm saying I don't know I might move to LA Mm. maybe shit's so different but Florida is like some parts of LA like remind me of Florida that's why it's like I don't know if I should move here because I don't want to like Mm -hmm. feel like I'm in Florida yeah if you really want to switch it up you should go back to Manhattan Manhattan, <laughs> true, but then 
I love Manhattan. Like, I love, like, the shit. But, like, shit. Like, like let's say you want to be by yourself, like, outside. That's yeah. impossible. Like, Dude. There's hella shitload of people. It's crazy. Around the corner, you feel me? Someone could be talk like, someone could be yelling, like, at the sky, and he's just talking to you. You know what I mean? Like, you don't even know that. It's weird. But Manhattan is... I might like brush with. Yeah, you would probably end up in somewhere in Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn. It's a weird vibe in Brooklyn. Yeah. Well, there's still some pockets. So the rest of 2019, you have any artists you want to work with? Are there any like goals or um, any friends that you want to work with? Uh, I want to work with like Night Lavelle. Yeah, I mean, he's fire. He's very fire, and that's it, really. Oh, cyber, right? He, he's like he said he's gonna send me some shit, but I don't know if he sent it. He never said anything, mm. but he said he was. I never really like bothered him for like a song, but I'm just waiting for that. Yeah, cause you're both in your own world. Yeah, like, he's in his own. Like his own fucking <laughs> His own galaxy His own galaxy He's in his own fucking galaxy <laughs> I love it Oh god damn dude He's my favorite Yeah Um What advice would you give to kids Who are trying to pursue music Um Like Just have fun with this shit Like And don't take it too seriously and Fuck what other people gotta say Just make what you want You know what I'm saying do what you want Make what you want If you wanna sound like You know The trendy shit Do it If you wanna Do your own shit Just do Be you Do you You know what I mean That's all it takes Really Cause if you be you Then it'll be much easier And you don't have to You know Catch up With Right Shit Yeah well, hell yeah, man. Thank you for coming on the podcast. Thank you. For I appreciate it. Thank I'm, you for having me. I'm like kind of sweating in my hoodie, but yeah. it wasn't that bad. Appreciate that, yo. Like, it's just crazy because I would see your shit on Twitter and all that. And really? Then, yeah, like, even the Mac Miller shit. What? That. Yeah, that shit's crazy. What the fuck? I think I seen, was it like the Lil Wayne shit? I don't know. Like, it was mm, like some. Right. I don't know if it was, if it was a video like an old ass video of, I think you were I don't know if it was you or someone else but it had the mask gorilla shit hmm. and it was in a show like an old show like oh old. wait what the fuck yeah the mask gorilla sticker on big black's fridge in fantasy factory I don't know if it's that one but I know like, I don't know if you ever been it was probably it was old like it was old as hell I just seen it there, so there are photos of me and Lil Wayne to confirm that, and also mm -hmm. I did do Mac Miller's first ever interview, mm -hmm. which people on this YouTube channel are probably shocked to hear. I've been doing this for ten years, that and this YouTube channel is about a year old. You've been doing this shit <laughs> since I was a, a baby, bro. Whoa! Shit. Don't give away any hints. You weren't oh, born shit. yet. You weren't shit. born yet when I started. I kind of fucked up. Yeah, I wasn't born yet. <laughs> yeah, but. This shit is legendary. At first, I thought like you wouldn't fuck with me, but that shit's crazy, dude. I actually hear that a lot of like people like, "Oh, I sent you a message and this and that." I'm like, <laughs> I'm always watching. <laughs> I always have my ear to the ground. Yeah. I think I was a little late on you though, because you now you're really fucking blowing up. Yeah. But that shit, legendary. I fuck what you got going on. Oh yeah, man. Well, thanks again for coming by. Appreciate it.